They're a nuisance in our area at the end of summer lately, but if you've been outside at all over the last few weeks, you may have noticed a number of lantern flies that we typically see this year. Seems like it's gone down. Thanks so much for sticking with us here at 530. I'm Christine Sorensen. I'm Ken Rice. Those bugs first appeared in 2020. We've seen them every year since. Their population has gone either up or down. So where do things stand this year? Well, Barry Pintar found out for us, and he's got tips on things you can do to help control the population. Yeah, you have no doubt noticed they are back, those pesky lantern flies. I'm actually in Dormont at the corner of Banksville Road and Dormont Avenue at a park, providing a perfect backdrop to talk about lantern flies in 2025 for two specific reasons in terms of things that are here. One might be obvious, a tree. The second, maybe not so obvious, cars. So let's talk about the specifics of where these invasive species like to be. First, trees. You've likely seen them huddled up and down trunks and branches. Sap is a favorite food source. That's why they're so dangerous to our trees and all crops. The second one, surprising to some, is indeed cars. Why? Hitchhiking rides on cars is the primary way the population spreads. They're everywhere in certain places. Have you noticed more of them this year? It, it, at the hospital, actually, at um, Mercy, it, they're all over the ground. Let's talk about how bad they are this year. Lanternfly populations peaked in our region in 2023. Last year, the population actually went down. This year is expected to be higher than last year. We don't know yet. Why? Well, look at this life cycle chart. Notice that it is just about now that they are laying eggs and reproducing. I uh, don't love them. Yeah, they're not as bad this year, but uh, still pretty annoying. Another point, they are not evenly distributed throughout the landscape. Some may say I have tons, others say I hardly see any. Still, experts do ask your help in controlling the population. The first, they ask you to check your car each time you drive. If there are any on there, flick them off, sweep them away, whatever you can do to keep them from moving around and spreading. And the final thing you can do to control the lantern population is not good for the squeamish, and that is if you see a lantern fly, the experts say, kill it, squeeze it, and stop it from spreading elsewhere. That is truly what they're telling us to do. Reporting in Dormont, Barry Pintar, KDKA TV News.